Mm-hmm. 
Greetings, Baron. I saw the adepts of the Peh Beast Cult in the forest. Can you imagine that? They're worshipping Peh! It's horrible. Shortly after the cult worshippers arrived here, the animals vanished from the local woods. It must be that Peh has eaten them all. And if he wants to eat us, even our noble Baron would not be able to stop him. You really want to help us? Then listen. Sect followers were seen by the old heathen temple behind the Baron's castle. Get rid of this abomination, and I'll reward you generously. Look, the crowd, as it was said. Well, maybe they are magicians, maybe monks. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I remember that one of the boys in the School of Reconnaissance played a trick on the water worshippers. They were calling for a kind of talisman of theirs. They were worshipping, keeping watch, and making sacrifices for 30 days. So he brought a kind of liquid to their altar, a cure for constipation. But the talisman was meant to cure them from the consumption that affected them. So he took it. All of it. They say that he was afraid even to sneeze from that day on. Well, they are fools that believe in such nonsense. Oh, and what's this?
Baron, do you have any news? You did it, Baron? That's incredible! How did you manage to defeat such a monster? You know, I'm beginning to think that all the rumors about you are true. You are indeed a great warrior. You've saved the locals from that beast. Thank you, and farewell. Yes, but you know, Baron, these are hard times. of the Baron after all, and if he knows about that, he'll whip me to death. You're just in time, dear Baron. I'm very bored. In fact, I'm so bored that I don't even want to drink! The Baroness has left me. And the Baronet too. They went to Estor. It's terrible. How? You ask me how it's possible? Damn this prophet! If it was my will, I swear to God that I would have him pinched on the castle's flagstaffs! By a part of his wretched body on every last one of them! Excuse me, Don, I'm quite excited. But damn me if you know how badly I want to kill him! He has a role in this. Gangs of ragamuffins are ravaging local lands. The boars are gone. Even the wolves are gone. The other day we caught two of the newly arrived saints' men. In my castle! The Baroness couldn't sleep for two weeks! And how do you think I feel about it, my dear Don? I would give my life for her. I had to insist that they leave until the disturbances cease. Reasonable? You don't understand, dear Don! You don't understand a thing! Even when these barbarians descended from the hills, when the kings of Arkinar led a siege on Bao, even when crazed slaves from the mines went all the way to Irukan, we haven't separated. The Bao family has never left these walls or fled. But I love her too much. Now Bao is dead, and soon I will be too. You think so? A journey? Yes, that's possible. Don, you cure my diseased soul. To think of it that way is much easier. But it's so boring to be here alone. Even my neighbors, who are parasites without kith or kin, stop paying me visits. They are afraid, the cowards. They stay locked up in their estates and tremble in fear before this prophet and his bunch of ragamuffins. It's deadly boring here. I even visited my own library. There's so much dust in there. toward the sciences, dear Don. But one of my ancestors happened to be a personal huntsman of the famous Taz himself. All the court people of that time had to know literacy and other sciences by order of the Emperor. 
It was a silly fancy, but he is an emperor after all. And so my ancestor created this library. Yesterday I was looking through his manuscript. Don't laugh at me, Don. I was attracted by etchings. Yes, my ancestor was quite good at drawing, especially battles and animals. By the way, the manuscript turned out to be very interesting. I found a silver plate with peculiar engraving in the lining. I can't understand why he sewed it inside. He did indeed. How did you guess, dear Don? Really? Hmm. You know, dear Don, I'm beginning to think that there are some positive sides to being literate. Yes, there was an order. But by now we have completely forgotten about the reasons for its origin. I recall that it was somehow connected with the hiccuping forest to the northeast of my lands. My dear friend, sometimes you remind me of the deceased Don Rumata. May his noble soul rest in peace. You show interest in meaningless trifles that aren't worth a good roasted deer's meat. I don't like fairy tales. I won't help you with anything. On the other hand, here, take this. It's the manuscript I told you about. I put the plate back in the lining. Maybe it will help you somehow. Also, I remember that the Toronto family was connected with that order. They learned to write before they learned to wield a blade. Could you imagine such nonsense? They are very strange people. Me? With what, dear Don? You're about to leave. It's such a pity. But thanks for the talk. You've been able to allay my depression, and I even feel like drinking again. <laughs> you are welcome anytime. I'll be waiting for you. I was wondering, what's happening to people that causes them to completely forget their past so quickly? Especially things of the greatest importance. Take the order, for example. Apparently, the most noble aristocrats had the mystery in their possession. If Ramon and Sikorsky were telling the truth, they had the power of the gods. And what do we have now? After a couple of generations, everything was forgotten. There was a time when the emperor himself would have renounced his power to have your ancestors' documents in his possession. What about now? Those documents are lying in a letterbox covered with dust, and no one actually needs them. How the hell is that possible? That's what I was thinking. Not only forget, but get quite dumb in the process. Everyone says that a couple of cycles ago, any one of the courtiers was able to read and write, and the Soan Academy of Science was flourishing. The one we have now is nothing but a shadow of its former greatness. Where are the scientists? Where are the poets and artists? Have you seen the tapestries in the castles we visited up to this point? Exactly. No one can even reproduce one of those. The smiths no longer make new armor and swords. They just attempt to copy what existed long before them. The design of the clothes has not changed for decades. How could that be possible? I don't see much reason for joy, actually. But anyway, it's more like a philosophical dispute, and being a philosopher doesn't suit a noble Don. Well, I think I know what the deal is. What about you?
Holy crap. Listen, could it be that the staff in the prophet's possession is the artifact we're looking for? And that he's already started to use it liberally? I mean that the world has just turned upside down. Your grace deigned to ask me my humble opinion. Yes, yes, I remember. I shall not mock thy grace. I shall not tread on thy pet corn, and so on. Can't I just pull a joke once in a little while? As for my thoughts, I think that this plate is actually part of some amulet, one of the twelve. The old records say that you only can unravel the mystery after you've collected all twelve parts. That means that it has to be something like a map of sorts. So, we'll somehow have to get them from the descendants of the former members of the Order. We'll probably be able to buy them, at least some of them. We already know of one. It's Toronto. I think we should start there. So, these are my thoughts. Same old story again. I remember we were talking about it in Castle Ramon, weren't we? You started to whine and lament over it. And I say before you actually try it, you never know if an idea is worth it or not. Got it? I have nothing more to say on this matter. 